The ultimate question in life is not whether you're a slave. You are a slave. You're not free. None of us are free, ultimately free. The question is, what are you going to be a slave to? Because there are choices to be made. Let me give you an example. Of course, our culture says, go inside of yourself. The gospel comes along and says, deny yourself. Our culture says you do whatever you want with your marriage. You do whatever you, inside tells you to do with sexuality. You do whatever you want to do because your personal freedom and individual thought is all that matters. And Christianity comes along and goes, there are times you have to deny your own proclivity because you are actually born sinful. And the natural state of your soul and the woof of your soul actually isn't God glorifying or self-flourishing at all. And so you have to constantly deny yourself, not look into yourself for salvation. And so I'll, I'll give you an example of this. So Timothy Keller in his book, Making Sense of God, gives this illustration. He says this, uh, you're a 65-year-old man and you love to eat whatever you want to eat. All right, you, you eat steak, you drink wine every day, you are, you chocolate, you're just like the worst appetite ever because that's what you want to do. That's your freedom and no one's going to tell you any different. But then you also like something else. You like spending time with your grandkids. And you go to the doctor one day and the doctor looks at you and says, you're going to have to actually eat vastly different than you eat right now in order to spend time with your grandkids, in order that you have a full life. And so now you have this decision to make. Do I continue the freedom in eating whatever I want, but that's going to restrict me from the freedom of spending time with my kids because I'm going to be dead? Or do I restrict myself from this thing in order for me to flourish? What am I going to do? And Timothy Keller points this out. He says this, there is then not just one thing called freedom that we either have or we don't. At the level of life lived, there are numerous freedoms and no one can have them all. If he wants the freedom of sustained loving relationships, he will give up the freedom to eat what he wants. We have to decide which freedom to sacrifice for the other and we all do it every day. The question becomes which freedom is truly liberating.